Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will continue our development and we will display our this dictionary on the Streamlit web app. So for this purpose, I need to extract these keys from this dictionary separately and then these values from this dictionary separately and then I will use a single markdown for keys and uh, then a single markdown for these values okay so let's see how we can extract our information from dictionary so let's uh, outside this for loop uh, let's create here keys variable okay and I will say keys is equals to w o r d s words dictionary okay and then i will say dot k e y s keys okay so this will basically return us keys but those keys will not be in a list format so we need to convert all of these keys into a list so just write here l i s t l i s t list okay and put these rounded brackets okay so this is how you can actually extract your keys from any kind of dictionary now let's extract the values as well so just write here v a l u s values is equals to l i s t list okay again we need to convert our uh, all of those values values into a list okay so that's why i'm writing here list okay and then write here wrds words dictionary dot v a l u s values now once we have keys and values first of all we need to loop through each key and each value and then we need to display that information on the screen so instead of writing here two different for loops i will write only one for loop okay so i will say for i in r a n g range okay and then i need to pass here the range and the range will be the length of uh, keys or the length of values so here you can pass here the length of keys or you can pass here the length of values no difference okay so just write your length and then i will pass your keys okay and then first of all i will say st dot m a r k markdown okay and uh, this will be my formatted markdown okay and i think i will use uh, uh, h5 heading okay for this so h5 and then let's close this h5 heading okay and then inside these h5 headings first of all i will pass my keys okay so just write here k e v a s keys and then uh, as you as we have converted our these keys into a list of keys okay so here first of all i need to define here the index of uh, which key i want to display so that index will be determined by this value of i so just pass here this i and then let's create another st dot markdown okay st dot markdown this will be formatted string again okay and it will be h5 heading okay so just write here h5 let's close h5 okay and uh, here i will say the v a l u s values okay and then again i need to pass my index and the index will be i okay and uh, in both cases let's write unsafe allow html to tru true okay so tru e true and then here as well unsafe allow html to t are you true okay now let's save this thing and uh, let's uh, copy this information again copy it and let's uh, reload this application let's paste the data hold control hit enter okay so we got an error and that is okay so uh, function or method object is not a treble okay so let's see the output why it is not a treble we need to put these round brackets here as well so let's save it again let's re reload it let's paste it control enter and yeah now this is our output as you can see this is our keyword and this is its value okay so hello has appeared only one time i has appeared only two times m has appeared one time a is appeared one time and so on okay now i think i know very well that the output is not as good as it should be so i need to print my these values and keys side by side okay and one thing that i am thinking that uh, i also need to print the percentage as well so uh, i just need to div divide this whole area into two into three different columns okay so uh, beneath this uh, 
text area uh, let's write here col call one col call two then col call three okay is equals to st dot c or l u m n s columns okay and i will create three different columns or let's put here three okay and now instead of using everything like this let's write here col call one here okay and then uh, c or l call to here and now uh, let's calculate here the percentage so just write here call three dot m a r k d o w and markdown okay this will be again my formatted string okay and uh, this will be h5 heading okay h5 and uh, let's close this h5 heading let's uh, write here unsafe allow sorry let's copy this line okay copy it and uh, paste it right here okay paste it here now here we need to define our percentage logic okay so uh, first of all i need to calculate the total length of the words okay so we are so here we are calculating our words so i will say t underscore l e n is equals to length of wrds words okay so we need to find the length of the words and then i will write uh, v a l u s values okay values of i divided by total uh, underscore length okay total length and then i need to multiply this value with 100 okay and let's put this part inside these rounded brackets okay brackets and let's save it again and now let's rerun this application let's write a sentence like h e double -L, l o hello i am u m a i l omer simple line okay control enter and yeah this is my output okay so hello has appeared one time it, this is the value and this is the percentage okay so let's uh, create here some headings for them as well okay so just open this again and uh, here uh, i will write uh, c o l call one dot m r k mark d o w n markdown okay but uh, instead of writing this thing here uh, let's write this below this text okay so c o l call one dot markdown m a r k d o w n markdown okay and uh, then i uh, this will be my formatted string okay and it will be like uh, maybe like um, h3 heading okay a little bit bigger heading and then uh, slash h3 okay and then here i will say k e y w r d s keywords okay and uh, i will say unsafe allow unsf unsafe underscore a w -O w underscore html unsafe allow html to t r u true okay and i will put this part in the middle okay so uh, just come to keyboard and uh, let's copy this line okay copy it and paste it right here okay paste it here and let's copy this whole line copy and uh, paste it one more time okay and this will be my column two and uh, this will be my column three okay column three and then let's change the heading from keywords to uh, or double c u r a n c s occurrences okay and then to p e r uh, c n t a g s percentages okay and now here i just need to put this percentage sign okay percentage sign and i think i will also put these values keys and percentage in the middle of the column so just uh, copy this line copy and uh, paste it right here paste it right here and then right here as well okay now let's save it and uh, let's uh, rerun this application I'll write a paragraph like h e double -L hello and now let's uh, hold control hit enter keyword occurrences and percentages okay everything is fine hello i am and this is the occurrences and this is the percentage but as you can see the percentage is quite weird so we need to round this percentage okay so let's round it and uh, where this is my percentage so here i will write r o u n t round okay and uh, put everything uh, inside uh, these rounded brackets save it again uh, let's copy this line copy it let's uh, reload it let's paste it again 
hold control hit enter and yeah now i think the output is quite good so this is how you can uh, develop density checker okay now let's copy a paragraph for it and let's copy this one okay so this is the definition of a paragraph so let's copy this one and uh, paste it right here hold control hit enter and yeah this is the output so keywords occurrences and percentages these are all the keywords okay these are all the occurrences and these are the percentages so this is how you can develop this uh, keyword density checker application and uh, i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will see something new till that point bye bye